Hi everybody, Gabby Loren here for AFX. Today we're talking about the hashtag MeToo movement, which took over social media by storm this October of 2017. But apparently this was a movement way before, about 10 years ago to be exact, by Tarana Burke of Harlem, New York, go Tarana, where she was helping underprivileged women of color fight sexual abuse. Well, it came around full circle this year in 2017. 50 women came out against Harvey Weinstein for sexual misconduct and sexual abuse allegations. This guy is a huge TV and film producer and media executive who was taken down by the likes of some of the biggest stars in Hollywood. And following him, about 34 other well-known figures across politics, pop culture, and media have also been accused. These gentlemen have had their careers ripped right from under them, their shows pulled, canceled, worse. But the good thing about this is that women are finally coming together for a good cause. Women empowerment, building each other up to not be silenced. I commend these women. I commend them for their actions and for taking a stand in the name of justice and for the future of our children and our children's children. Now, I think when it comes to somebody with 50 accusers who's admitted to these acts, yes, they are clearly guilty. But if you are someone who only has minimal accusers and you're denying the allegations, you have to wonder what is the motive behind the people accusing. We definitely need due process. It's not okay to accuse someone and rip jobs, cancel shows, punish them before we actually know the truth. So in that situation, innocent until proven guilty. Make sure to sound off in the comments below and let me know what you guys think on the hashtag MeToo movement. And if you feel that it's important to accuse and criticize before we know the facts.